Hey guys, what is up? It is Karen aka Cakes by BBK and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing yet another video on monthly favorites. So today's is going to be the month of April and I'm so excited. I have a lot of really great things that I feel like are super underrated. Before I get started, I would like to say that a lot of these are miscellaneous and not really beauty related. I mean, I do have a bunch of beauty related stuff, but to be honest, it's been a pretty busy month. I'm getting ready to graduate. I'm graduating this week. Like you're watching this on Wednesday and on Saturday I'm graduating. It's, it's crazy. I'm, <laughs> I'm not ready and I can't believe it's here already. With that being said, I am taking a really, really small break from YouTube because as you guys know, or if you don't know, I am currently in San Diego for school and I'm from the LA area, like in a suburb of LA. So I'm going to be moving back home and just kind of figuring out my life and how to set things up YouTube wise in my house because it's just, it's just a whole big thing that I'm going to have to deal with. So I am going to be taking a little break from YouTube and that just, it hurts my heart. But honestly, I have been really feeling unmotivated when it comes to YouTube and I'm sure you guys can kind of tell in my content and I don't want to put stuff out if I'm not completely happy with it and I have been feeling kind of lackluster lately with my YouTube because of everything that's just been going on. My life has just been so busy and I'm trying to juggle everything so I think a break would be good for me at this point. So yeah, today's video is the last one you're going to see for a while, or not like a while, probably like a couple weeks, a month at the most. I'm definitely gonna miss you guys, but let's send this off with a bang and let's get into my April favorites. Let me preface this by saying that I'm sorry that there are so many Morphe products in here, but I went to a store recently when I was visiting my friend and I didn't go crazy, but I did get quite a few items that I feel are just hidden gems. So let me start. I'm going to start off with the most popular out of these just to get it out of the way. This is the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Y'all, if you don't have this, you need this. You guys know I ran out of my Smashbox Photo Finish Priming Water, which that thing is a godsend, but I really want to branch out and use other sprays and I have used this before. It is amazing, but I repurchased it because the mist is just angelic is the only way to describe it. It is amazing. It's continuous, which I love, and it is only half the price of the Smashbox one, so that is a big plus. I do run out of this quicker though just because just because probably it's pressurized and there's not as much product in here, but just like Ooh, ooh, that didn't even get on my face. This stuff is amazing, honestly. Like, if you're looking for a good setting spray with a super, super fine mist, this is your gal. And she smells so good. The scent kind of reminds me a little bit of MAC Fix Plus, but not as, ow, I just cracked my pinky, <laughs> but not as strong. And it doesn't linger at all which is good. So the scent goes away with time, but she does smell really, really good. Going into my next product, these I actually mentioned in my VIB recommendations, but I just love them so much and I have been using them a lot within this month. So I'm just going to mention them again briefly in this video. This is the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. And of course I got the travel size because uh, your girl is Broke. But if you guys know and if you follow me on Instagram, I've been trying to get into the Benefit Brow Search where they pick 20 people to fly out to New York and compete for $50,000 and a contract with them. Like, what? So I went ahead and picked this up because I only had their Gimme Brow, which is another favorite of mine. Let's just get this out of the way. This is amazing. I've fallen back in love with it and there's really not much I need to say about this, so... Let's put this down. But this pencil is one of the creamiest eyebrow pencils I have ever used. It's super easy to apply your brows. And I'm gonna insert some pictures of me using these two products together because I've used these two in like every brow entry. So I'm just gonna pop these around the screen. I'm in the shade three for the Goof Proof and the shade five for the Gimme Brow. I find that these two shades, for me at least, give a really great 
texture to my brow just because this one's not too dark to the point where it's the same color as my hair but it's light enough to see a contrast with the five shade of the Gimme Brow, which is the darkest shade, I think. So it's just nice because when I use these two together, it really gives like a nice texture and it's not just like drawn on brows with just like one solid color. You, you, get, you get what I'm saying? You picking up what I'm putting down? Continuing with eyes, the next product I have is a brush and this is also from Morphe. This brush is the M507 and it is so soft. The hairs and the fibers of this brush are synthetic, which is great for people who are cruelty free and don't want to use like real hair brushes. But there's something about the texture of this and I think like just the shape, it just picks up product and then deposits the product so well. Like I will use the most finicky shadows with this brush and it will come out so powerful and so pigmented on my eyes with the combination of using like an eye base but it's just something about it i think it's just because the hairs are so like smooth that it doesn't really absorb that much product if that makes sense like it doesn't stay in the brush it's like slippery enough to the point where it like like I'm able to put it all, like all the pigment onto my eyes. And that's a really weird description. But when I posted this on my Instagram story, so many people told me that this brush was amazing. And I'm so glad that I picked it up because ooh, she's becoming one of my holy grails. But yeah, this is the Morphe M507 brush. It's a really nice tapered shape and it is super flexible and it's not stiff at all. So if you're working on your eyes, it's gonna be super soft. So I really love this brush. I have two lip liners and they're also from Morphe, but after these two, that's it for Morphe, I promise. But these are two lip liners, which I don't know about you guys, but I did not know that Morphe even had lip liners. Like I knew they had liquid lipsticks and the regular cream lipsticks, but I was not aware that they had these. So I picked these up and these caught my eye because of the price. They're only $4, which I think is amazing. They are wooden, so you do have to sharpen them, but that's not a problem with me. I got the shades Studded and Chippy, and these are probably the creamiest and easiest to use lip liners that I have. Now granted, I don't use a lot of lip liners, but I really, really love these. I usually find wooden lip liners and like wooden eyeliners to be super stiff and hard to work into the skin. But as soon as you put this onto your skin or onto your lips, like it immediately not melts down, but it just kind of like glides onto your lips. And I think for the price, like this is seriously such a hidden gem. I don't hear anybody talking about these and they really should just because the price is so amazing. And I think the formula is super creamy and long wearing. I wore studded with a, another liquid lip the other day and it lasted me a really long time. I want to say like the entire day. So that's the, these are something to think about if you're on the market for a new lip liner. The last beauty related favorite I have is this Makeup Melt Cleanser from Bliss. This is what it looks like, comes in a pump. It comes with 6.4 fluid ounces. I think this one was like $10 at my local Target. I will say that I don't really love this for taking off my makeup. I love more like balm type makeup cleansers and makeup melts and this one is more of like a liquid but I recently used this to clean one of my brushes that has white synthetic hairs. I actually have it right here. This is the Wet n Wild like body brush and I used one of their body shimmer products on myself with this brush and I tried washing it with my regular like baby shampoo concoction and it did not come out until I used this guy and it was so easy to just like squirt on there and just massage it out of the white hairs. It probably took me like three minutes to get everything out. Whereas before when I was using the baby shampoo and like a soapy product, it would not budge like at all. So I'm thinking that this is really great for cleansing your brushes that are a little bit more stubborn and absorb a lot more pigment because they are white haired synthetic brushes. So if you have a hard time cleaning these types of tools, I would definitely recommend trying this out. It comes with so much product. I've had it for so long and I'm like, that's how much I have left. Like I still have so much. I'm trying to use this as much as I can so I don't have to pack it when I move back home. But I really like this for cleaning my brushes. Now on to the miscellaneous favorites that I have of my month. The first one is 
scrunchies. It's a jello scrunchie. If you know where that is from, I love you. That's one of my favorite, like, kid movies. All right, we're just gonna talk through this plane flying overhead because I'm tired of waiting for them to pass by. I have always hated traditional hair ties because they're so rough on my hair and I really like to do tight ponytails and a lot of the time that hurts my hair. <laughs> you know the feeling you get when you put your hair up for too long and then when you take it out it hurts or like you get a headache? I absolutely hate that. It's one of my biggest pet peeves. So I've been meaning to get some scrunchies and my birthday was this past month and one of my best friends, she loves scrunchies so she got me a pack which came with these six and I believe she got them at Ross, but I mean, scrunchies are so easy to find nowadays because they're making a comeback. But I absolutely love these because they are so gentle on the hair and they still hold my hair up really, really well without the pain of a regular hair tie. And if you have hair that dents like me, like if I put it in a ponytail and I take it out, like my hair will be dented from my hair tie. Scrunchies are really great for avoiding that just because they are so like big and soft. So that's just, a random favorite of the month that I have. I've been using these nonstop. So thank you to my best friend, Annie, for getting them for me for my birthday. Next two favorites I have are music, uh, Billie Eilish's album and Beyonce's homecoming album. Yeah, not even gonna say a lot on that because those are self-explanatory. And my last favorite I have is my new phone. If you guys noticed, before I got this phone, I was stuck with my iPhone 6 and I had that one for four years. It was so slow, so I'm so glad I got my new phone. Thank you to my parents. This is my birthday slash graduation, oh, slash graduation present. So I've been loving this. But anyways, those are the favorites for the month of April for me. And let me know if you want to try any of these or any of your favorites for the month of April. I love chatting with you guys. You guys know that. And I'm so sorry to be inactive for the next couple weeks while I get my life together. With that being said, don't forget to follow me on my social media. I'm super active on Instagram and Twitter, and I will continue to be active on those platforms, just not on YouTube. My username for both of those is K, still the same as my YouTube, so make sure you guys follow me on there. I'll be posting and interacting with people more on those platforms. And with that being said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, thumbs up, all that good good, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.